What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. So we are looking at every single legendary in the game and we are now on part three and we're up to the corrupted and this is definitely the strongest out of all of them. Um, and we're going to be starting with Demon Spawn. I'm just going to try and spend about 10 seconds on each single champion. But just before we do that, I do want to say a big thank you to you guys. We've just hit 700 subs on the channel. So big thank you to you guys. You're all absolute legends. Uh, so Demon Spawns. First off, we got Prince Kaimar, one of the strongest champions in the game. Top, top tier. I'd love to have him on my account. Uh, the king of PvE. Uh, speed runs. He's your man. He's doing resets, but also an absolute beast for Arena. He strips. He puts people to sleep. Absolute boss. Uh, Tyrant. He's pretty underrated. A pretty strong champion. Definitely worth investing in. Uh, he brings HP burn. He also brings in an ally protection. Great for Hydra. Great for Spider. Counter Slicks. Um, an amazing champion. Probably quite... No, I think she's rated pretty well, actually. Um, great for Doom Tower waves. Um, she locked people out. And great for Arena. And if you have um, Astralon as well, they are such a nasty duo. Proper, proper sick. Hepfrak. Um, I've got this guy on my account. He has carried me so hard in live arena uh tag and classic just an all-round beast um great for even hydra as well like low levels of hydra like normal uh but also good for like just like if you want to speed run uh dungeons as well absolute beast for that he's a boss drex so drex um he's like an old school champion um used to be kind of trash but then got buffed and content came out started getting playtime. And yeah, he's pretty solid. Um, brings HP burn and a provoke. And it's because of his passive, he's so strong. He's great for so many Doom Tower bosses. 100% uh, worth investing in. Candorphon or Candy. Uh, wish I had this guy on my account. A real beast in the arena. Um, yeah, great for live arena. Great for tag. And great for arena defense. Uh, just such a sick champion. Um, just hits super hard. Yeah, definitely worth investing in if you need a new car. Sissia Flame Tongue. Um, she is an absolute beast. Uh, I'm using her in Spider, Hydra. Um, she could be used in so many places in the game. But yeah, she bring HP burn, drop defense, and weaken. Um, yeah, just a really, really good champion. 100% worth investing in. Vassal. So uh, this is one of those champions that um, you get from Doom Tower. Pretty trash. Um, I've not seen... He's got like an interesting kit, but I've never seen anyone use him. He's not getting much use. It's a skip from me. With her, uh, if you pulled it early on, she will carry your account. Um, also, like, great for like arena defense, tag, and classic. If you're bringing her in... Um, she can just stall all day long. Uh, you are getting so much love out of her. 100% worth investing in. More to, you know, in my honest opinion, I think he's trash. Um, he does have a little bit of use in Tag Arena, uh, Classic and Live, um, where if you get lucky, um, he's, he's an RNG guy, and that's why I'm not so keen, but, you know, if you do unlock that pearl, yeah, it becomes full god mode. But outside of that, nah, nah. It's not about the more two. Uh, Lord Shazar, um, pretty underrated. Great bomb champion. Can be really annoying, especially in live arena. If I had him, I would actually probably invest in him just because he, you know, he's got like a really good aura. One of the fastest auras that you can get. But also, he's just bringing bombs and stuff, and he's quite interesting. And with Stone Skin Meta, he can help, uh, counter that. Duchess. If you don't know who Duchess is, what are you doing playing Raid? Uh, she's my most wanted champion. Literally can be used everywhere in the game. 100% books, level 60, masteries, everything. You are just instantly six star in this champion. She is an absolute goddess. And probably like in the top three best champions in the game for everything. Helicat, again, another super strong champion. Uh, 
can be used to build a unkillable team for clan boss can also be used for iron twins um, um live arena and even tag arena like just because he brings that block damage and it's for two turns and also he gets counter attacks with his passives just so strong we are definitely using him like absolute beast use him kutraxa um it's a bit of a shame she's not that great um but she does have a four time here and it does ignore um 50 enemy defense on her a1 because of that she can be used in like fire knight so she does have uses but she's quite niche so i probably wouldn't invest in her but if i did have her i'd be bringing her in for my fire knight team um but yeah otherwise she's not so hot so yeah she'd be getting a skip from me and Neithui, um, I feel like he's pretty trash in most places in the game. However, he does have a block revive, um, you know. So because of his block revive, I just feel like for Live Arena and Tag, he's definitely worth bringing in. So because of that, I would invest in him. But outside of that, he's getting skipped. So on to Undead. First off, we got Crypt King. And he's a pretty solid champion. I was using him for Hydra just because of his HP burns. He also brings in a decreased attack. And you can also use him for Spider because he does bring in uh, freezes as well. So he's a pretty solid uh, champion. I would definitely be investing in him. Now, this is going to be so controversial. Um, I actually think Rotos is kind of trash. Just, just hold up a second before you start flaming me. Uh, just listen to my side of the story first off. So for Rotos to be like, okay, wait. So he's really good for like um, uh, Griffin on Doom Tower. Um, he's got some other places that he can be used in PVE, but he is really for PVP. And he like, the problem is he is absolutely God tier, but he's so stat hungry. Like you need him to have like 50k plus HP. You need him to have like 6k plus attack you need him to be crit capped you need as much crit damage as possible and you need him to have like at least 250 speed above for him to be full god mode and for the average joe which is you and me we are going to struggle to get that um like my rotos he's like at 210 speed he's just not fast enough um and he's only like 50k hp and stuff so it's so hard to get a full god mode rotos to make him an absolute monster but yeah otherwise you know he's just gonna struggle so for me it's like a, he's like a vault stick him in the vault and then when you've got the gear which is gonna take you a long long time bring him out and he will be full god full god mode so yeah i think i'm gonna get a lot of hate for that but it's kind of true so sato yeah he's getting a skip from me not much love from me elegias was a fusion i thought he was gonna do so much for me especially in dune tower he is just absolute trash. Hard skip from me. Uh, Maury, um, she's pretty cool. Um, I think she's definitely worth investing in. She's like increasing our turn meter, but she can also still bust from targets. And um, it's happened to me many times in Live Arena. I bring in my Hepfrak in Stone Skin. She comes, she steals it, and she just wrecks my team. So yeah, she's actually a pretty decent champion. Definitely worth investing in. Scartosis, um, I've, I've never seen them used anywhere. Uh, just trash is a hard skip. Bad L, um, he is, you know, back in the day, he was like the solo king. He's sort of fallen off now. However, he still definitely got use and you can build like um, old school team comps with him that can at least two key and possibly one key um, ultra nightmare clan boss. So he's definitely worth investing in. Um, you will be doing more damage for your whole team for uh, targets under poison. He's also bringing in a cleanse, a continuous heal, and poisons. So yeah, he is a great champion. Um, it's just that he's he's like he's a little bit outdated now, but he's still good. He's still good. Uh, Blood Gorge. It yeah, I mean he's quite niche. He, he's not been used much. I would probably skip him. However, he does have. Um, a block revive, which is always good. However, it's only one champion, but it does ignore defense. So, yeah, 
And he can also put skills and cooldowns. So he's quite, you know, I would say like he's low key strong for Arena, but he's not not like God tier like Harima and Taras. But you know, you could definitely get use out of him. Ultimate Death Knight, one of the most annoying champions uh, in in just in Arena. Um, definitely would be investing in him. Hard counter to Rotos, um, and sometimes you know you'll just forget that um that he's there and you're bringing a champion that does single target stuff and oh my death knight is gonna be soaking it all day long Mashal, great champion 100 we're worth investing in uh clan boss again um also hydra like all end game stuff um not so great for arena i do see him use sometimes but you know the fear the increased speed you know it's just so easy to counter with stone skin so yeah, he's he purely for me he purely clan boss clan boss uh, clan boss material. Nethrol, um, and yeah, I feel like he's not getting much playtime either. Skip from me, Susan. I've never seen them used in the game. Skip from me. Harvest Jack, um, I kind of like him. He can be quite interesting in arena, and uh, he does bring block buffs as well. So. There's definitely uses for him in the game, but he's just sort of, I'd say, like mid-tier. Siffy. Oh, my goodness. I'd love to have her on my account. I run into literally, like, I'm in the top 2,000 at the moment for Live Arena. Uh, highest I've ever been is top 12,000. And literally every other game, someone's bringing Siffy. She's just so good because of her turn meter. Um, also an A1 that's just putting people to sleep. And she's got such a strong single target revive. One of the best champions in the game. Um, great for all other content as well, not just Arena. So yeah, definitely you are maxing her out if you get her. Necred, um, he was like an absolute god when he's released. He'll just keep your nukas alive all day long. However, um, he obviously he's still strong and I'll definitely invest in him. But just a word of warning, um, Plarium are trying to sort of nerf him a little bit. So they are starting, starting to bring out champions that do counter him, like Supreme El Hain and Wukong and stuff like that. So he's slowly, slowly getting nerfed, but still very, very strong. Um, yeah, and he's bringing ally protection and all sorts of stuff. Just such a sick champion. Uh, Euros, you get him from Doom Tower. Um, I absolutely love him. I'm using him to um, solo Scarab. And that's great because I'd, you know, you got five champions that are locked in for Scarab. Now they've been released and they can just do whatever they want. Um, so yeah, he's great for that. But he can solo a lot of other content as well, and he's a strong, strong champion. So yeah, definitely worth investing in. Little Miss Annie, she's never, she's purely made for the arena, and she's never really had much of use. It's such a shame because I think she looks pretty sick, but. She, she ain't getting it. She's not getting nothing from me. Vlad, I just feel like, I think some people love him, but probably 70% of the player base absolutely hate him. And I hate him too. Um, So disappointing when he was released. I thought he was going to be absolute god tier. And one thing I was really hoping with him as well is that I feel like Palerium have gone the wrong route with him. He's, a, he's like a vampire. And um, he just does like damage and stuff and debuffs. And it's always hard when someone's like, either you have to build them full nuka or you have to build them full de uh, debuffer. I mean, you can go hybrid as well, but you just don't really get the full benefit. I mean, and even if you do pair him up with Constantine, which I've done, it is really hard to sort of fit them in somewhere. They're not a great duo. They don't really work well together. I mean, it's great that they can block revive and stuff, but... Yeah, they just don't work well together. So yeah, it's a hard no from me. Uh, Val Valkyrie, he's a new boy, new boy on the block, and he looks really cool. Um, I would love to get him on my account. He does a weird thing where he sacrifices people, but he's bringing a lot to the table. I would definitely invest in him, and I reckon, uh, you know, time will tell. Time will tell. Again. All of these factions are so strong. Another strong faction. So we've got Ray, um, great champion for Arena, bringing in Freeze. She's uh, doing damage as well. 
Um, yeah, really, really strong champion. Definitely worth investing in. Lana Kess, um, I believe she, yeah, she's an ally attack champion. Um, yeah, and she's one of the best. Yeah, she's great. Definitely worth investing in. Uh, Foley, um, one of my first hardcore arena nukers. Still really strong. Um, might catch people off guard in live arena. You know, in live arena, people are always bringing in revivers and he can hardcore counter that with his block revive. It's AoE as well. Um, yeah, hits really hard. Great, great champion. Also has a nice passive. So if someone tries to stun, free, sleep or provoke him, he's going to instantly remove it. Um, it's going to heal him as well. And it's going to boost his term by 50%. So it means he can cut in hard counter to like uh, Kaimar. Knocked the Paralyzer. Um, yeah, it looks cool. I'm loving this guy's skin. Looks pretty different from the other champions. But yeah, cool, cool looking dude. Um, but yeah, one of the things that makes him stand out is that he's got this all his sleep abilities. It looks like he's been purely made for Sand Devil. Um, yeah, so outside of that, I don't think he's doing too much. But I mean, he does have a, a continuous heal and ally protection, but he's purely built for Sand Devil. I would say I'd probably invest in him if I don't have other options. Uh, Truath, I'm not too familiar with this champion. Just having a quick look. He looks like okay. I would say like probably mid tier, but yeah, I probably wouldn't be investing in. Uh, Xaviar, absolute like insane poison explosion. Also bringing in block revive as well. So she could definitely get some use in arena. I've never come across her. But I'm sure it's probably because people just have stronger options. But yeah, she could, you know, you could definitely bring her in. But I think there's a little bit of setup required. That's why. But yeah, definitely worth investing in. Poison Exposers uh, champions like Team Comps do have a place in the game. So definitely can be used. Uh, Marinix. Um, yeah, just looks okay. Again, I've not seen much use for her. Um, not really seen her use, but again, she's bringing in Hex, so maybe some potential for Hydra, but I just feel, yeah, I've not seen her use, so it's a no from me. Vizier, Vizier. Um, I think a lot of people would invest in him because he he's very unique that he can um, extend debuffs. And this is amazing for Clan Boss. It means like you can like pair him up with like Frozen Banshee and just keep those poisons up for just forever. Um, but the thing that I'm using him for at the moment is um, that he can spread debuffs, which is on his A3. So what I do is I use Arbiter, uh, you know, make sure that I go first. Then Astrolith, uh, Astrolith comes in. She places bombs that cannot be resisted. I put them on a Stone Skin Champion. Vizier spreads it across to everyone else on the team and it just blows everyone away. So sick to watch. Um, I think outside of that, not worth investing in, so I probably wouldn't go like ham over him. But if you if you've got those champions, go for it. And speaking of, there's Astrolith, who we'll look at in a sec. Chromax, um, yeah, I think he's one of those champions you get very late into the game. Looking at him now, though, okay, so he's got a provoke which could be useful for Hydra, but it's on a four-turn cooldown, so it's a bit long. And he's also, he only attacks one enemy, he's block buffs, so not good enough, not good enough Plarium. He's getting no love from me. Astrolith, so underrated, one of my favourite champions. Um, so just talking about her, she has bombs that cannot be resisted. Um, but the other thing that I really like to do with her is you bring her in with someone that um, has unkillable buffs, like a Man-Eater or um, Emic. And then what you do is the team, they slam your team. Everyone's about to die, but they've still got the unkillable buff, so we're staying alive. And Astrolith can literally one-shot anyone with her A3. So choose whoever you want, and she exchanges HP with them. They get one HP, she gets all their HP, and then she'll just one-shot anyone. It doesn't matter how much HP they have, how much defense or resistance. She is one-shotting people all day long. Eva, um, you don't need to book her. She's pretty trash, to be honest. Her only place is Campaign Farmer. Um, but yeah, so I would probably avoid investing in her. But if you do need a campaign, uh, if you 
pull her uh, early on in e campaign farmer. She is god tier for that, but otherwise trash. <sighs> Ghostborn, I know a lot of people love this guy because of his um, decreased defense is irresistible. Um, and yeah, so you avoid that 3% RNG. However, I just, I find it really like, I just find that I've always got better options for him. So for me, I would actually skip him. A lot of people are going to give me hate for that, but I don't care. I just, just not for me. Rule. Um, looks so cool. Love this guy's skin. Um, so he's a hex champion. Um, and he can hit so hard, but he does need to make sure that he lands that hex or you're bringing in someone that's doing the work for him. Um, he does have increased accuracy himself, which is good. Um, but I do, I don't know, just, he definitely can hit hard. I wouldn't, I wouldn't invest books into him unless you got the champions and stuff. So I, you kind of want to be resourceful. Um, so I would skip him unless you've got, you know, you've got Mithrala that can do the hex and stuff. Then maybe you can use him or you're going to have to build him. You know, he's going to sacrifice some attack. I mean, he's not good enough for, I don't think he's good enough for Hydra. I've not seen him used, but for dungeons and stuff, he could definitely be usable, but he's just not God tier. Altan, um, again, I don't know. Just don't feel like he's that great. Um, again, maybe, yeah, for me, I think it'd be like a hard skip. I'm not sure where people be using him. If you are using him, drop a comment below. Where, where is he getting love, guys? Where? Where? <laughs> Blind Seer. This was the first Void Legendary that I pulled after playing the game for one year. Absolute trash. Can't stand her. Um, just feel like her kit's really weak. Um, yeah, just... She, it's really hard to find a place for her. I mean, she can be used in Finite with her A1. But, yeah, she's getting... I would just... I would skip. She's just not that great. Lydia. When you pull this guy, guy, when you pull this chick, she is doing so much for your account. Um, she's going to make a lot of content easier. You can do speed runs with her. Great for dungeons, great for arena, and great for Doom Tower. You are fully invested in her. Great, great champion. Physics used to be trash. She is now so strong. Um, can be used for Hydra. She, you know, she's bringing in provokes. She's slowing out of the Hydra heads as well. She's got decreased speed and ally protection. She's also manipulating turn meter. Um, great for Doom Tower waves as well. I'm still using her in my team and I can clear every single floor on every single rotation with her. Definitely worth investing in. Mithrala, um, great, great champion. Literally cannot be CC'd because of her passive. Um, you just put loads of accuracy on her and she'll have insane resistance. Um, she cleanses, she brings in um, Strengthen. She's also throwing out Hex. She's bringing in Poisons uh, and she's doing Petrification too. Love this champion. Once you've done Hydra and you finally get her, she is a game changer. Um, just Hydra, Arena, and even some Dungeon Time as well. Great, great champion. Okay, Tart... Tamara, wait, Tar, Ta, Tra, Tamaria. Oh, I can't even pronounce this one. Sometimes I wish player would just make these names a lot easier. Or just just for the dyslexic folks out there like me, just do like how you say it phonetically. Um, but yeah, um, not really run into her too much. Um, I don't know. I don't feel like she's that great. I don't know. For me, she's just diluting the legendary pool or the legendary void pool oh uh, yeah she ain't so great she ain't so hot supreme kale i'd be so sad if i pulled this guy um like don't get me wrong he's probably he is actually pretty decent um but it's just like there's so many other better void legendaries that i'd want to pull if my account was early to mid game yeah I'd be investing into him and he is bringing in increased accuracy and decreased resistance. But otherwise, you know, it's not enough. I mean, he's got really good stats though, like super fast. But yeah, I would avoid investing in him unless you really, really want to do PvE content with him. So up to Night Revs now. Uh, Nama, oh my God. Um, 
I tried to get it to work for, there's like a special tournament for Dragon where you can only use Night Rev champions. I invested so much into her and she just got awful. Um, hardcore skip from me. Gaius, I love this guy. Um, amazing for Faction Wars. Amazing for so much content, even like for dungeons and stuff. Great for Arena. Can be built really fast with accuracy or stone skin. Um, he's a bomb champion. Really nice passive and kit. Um, he, yeah, like just putting people to sleep, throwing out bombs. Great, great champion. Looks, he looks, you know, he looks like a boss as well. Definitely worth investing in. She maths. So um, <laughs> obviously looks like the Statue of Liberty. Um, I have her on my account. I've not invested into her. So I've not needed to. She can hit really hard. So if you need an arena new car, um, invest. Otherwise, I'd say a skip. She's not, I don't think she's doing much outside of that. Arix. Um, she is one strange looking chick. Look at those cheekbones. Um, yeah. She um, I think a lot of people used to think like she's a free login reward. People are like, ah, oh, absolute trash. Over time, she's getting some use now, only really in live arena. Um, you just build a super tanky, you bring in tanky support champions around her, and she'll basically slow, well, she puts counter-attack on herself, um, and with her A1, she'll just counter-attack. It does hit pretty hard, so she'll slowly chip away at the enemy team, and she has a, you know, a good chance of stripping buffs as well from the enemy. And then, you know... Eventually you get that W, um, but yeah, I don't know. I've invested in her, but I just don't have the support champion. So if you've got support champions and stuff, can can be useful, but like I'm not super keen on. Okay, by Stoppers. Um, yeah, he's just nope, nope. It's a no from me. Uh, Thea, the two main jewel, one of the hardest sitting champions. But again, is a hex champion and needs setup for it to work. Um, again, it's it's difficult these hex champions. If you've got Mithrala and stuff, I would say definitely worth investing in. It just depends if you need help in dungeons and Hydra, but can be useful. But again, it's all about. I mean, she doesn't require that many books to be fair, actually. Um, but yeah, I would say I would invest if you've got the setup. Okay, Vasil the Grim. So he's a hard-hitting HP champion. Um, I would definitely invest in, you know, we've got increased defense, ally protection. We've got a, a provoke as well. And we've got leech as well. So, you know, but I think the leech, yeah, so we do have a good chance of landing leech as well. So I would say, you know, and also good chance of broke as well. So definitely has some use in Hydra and stuff. So yeah, and I guess, you know, obviously, Good, he could carry you in dungeons, but like it'd be sort of like early to mid game stuff, not not in the late game. Mother Sabelle. Um, so it's an interesting champion. A lot of people like are oh, we're not, you know, when she like as a fusion, I think a lot of people skipped her. I skipped her. Um, but now she's getting some use in Hydra. Um, basically because of her AoE slow. So it is really, really useful. She's also bringing in some buffs as well. And that revive on death is always useful as well. So yeah, um, you know, she's got some uses, like a little bit of PvE and Hydra. So I would invest in her, but not, not so early on. Uh Tomb Lord uh used to be one of the what like one of the big boys. He's a big boss. Um, but yeah, he's great for like uh you can solo some content, uh also brings in poisons and stuff. Um definitely definitely worth investing in but i'm not you know let's look at reviews yeah so you can see like he's got places that he can be used in quite quite a lot of places so yeah he he's a pretty solid champion teodor is basically tomb lord 2.0 um teodor is the new boss of soloing content uh but also can be used in like actual teams as well for like dragon for fire knight and he can speed run stuff as well. Um, he's bringing in weaken. He's bringing in poison sensitivity. Um, yeah, and speed decrease as well. Also can do stuff with HP burn as well. So 
really, really strong champion and he's doing he's doing a lot for you. Definitely worth investing in. He's like super strong for PvE right now. Calvalax. Um, he looks so cool. Um, really disappointing. When he first came out, I was like, oh, this guy is gonna be amazing. He's not as strong as you might think he is. Um that literally the only place that I really use him for is spider hard 10 so i've got a team that can do it in 14 seconds and he is part of that um he can also sort of be used for um poison explosion team comps um so if you don't have that i would skip him maybe stick him in the vault come back to him another day when you got the stuff but yeah otherwise yeah i would try to skip him okay drang i really like this guy um i'm using him for sand devil He's got an irresistible HP burn. Um, really, really good champion. I mean, like, build him super, loads and loads of HP. I'm sure there's probably not just, um, you know, not just Sand Devil, but yeah, definitely, like, as you can see, he's getting used a lot of places. Definitely worth investing in. Uh, Solus. So the main place that I think this guy's used is um, Arena. Um, hits really hard, also brings in a Provoke. Or brings in a lot of provokes and he's got a stun as well um hits really really hard so he's like he was one of the best um defensive arena nukers fallen off a little bit but still very very good um but also can be used in hydra as well hedgy hedgy mon um one of my favorite champions i'm lucky enough to have him on my account um can be built two ways either like as a control champion which is how mine's built so so strong you literally just lock out speed teams um you can do so much with him but also you can just go full nuki mon as well and just drop teams in seconds um can be used obviously like arena is his main spot but can definitely be used in other places in the game um but yeah it's a bit of shame because like obviously with stone skin he has like it has made him fall off a bit but still still an absolute boss Wurlum. Uh, Wurlum used to be, yeah, I don't really rate him to be honest. I don't think I'd be using him anywhere in the game. So for me, he's a skip as well. Very, very skippable. Fultus, um, if you pull this guy, I feel so sad for you. Um, he's really not been used anywhere in the game. It's, it's a real shame though. He he relies on like true fear and stuff. Um, trying to think there's someone in the game that I think if you pair them up together, It'd be really, really nice. But because of stone skin and stuff, yeah, absolute trash at the moment. And last but not least is Gorig, aka the Nutcracker. I mean, this guy is one of the best looking champions in the game. Like, oh, I don't really like the rats on his back, but from the front, he just looks the absolute dog's balls. Um, but yeah, I love this guy. Like, looks so cool. But his kit is absolutely amazing. He is a killing machine. Um, he had like 50% chance to ignore a target's defense. Um, also, like he will ignore strength and stone skin, unkillable, block damage. And then if he kills, he gets an extra turn as well. I mean, his A2 hits really hard as well. And if he kills the champion, he gets unkillable. And his A1 can just pop off for days. Like, I've seen it just go like, you know, so he hits an enemy two times, has 30% chance of repeating the attack. And I've seen it just pop off like for days, just doesn't stop going. But yeah, so cool. Um, you know, you can even build him like, you know, like one piece stone skin or full stone skin. Uh, and yeah, just maybe put a bit of crawl on him as well or you can build him really fast with um instinct as well ignoring defense as well but yeah such a beast uh definitely one of the best nukers in the game wish wish i mean he's probably my most uh wanted champion just because he looks so cool and is an absolute beast but yeah good champion to end the video on thank you so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed the video please do leave me a cheeky thumbs up make sure you smash 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 that subscribe and I'll see you in a video soon. Peace.